How could you do this to me? Believe me, this is the last thing I want. But if I don't square things up with my conscience for all the terrible things, then what kind of man am I? I felt like I lost my soul a long time ago. If I don't do something drastic to get it back, then I have nothing to offer you. Oh, that's not true. You have a soul. You have a beautiful, creative, wonderful soul. I know because I felt it. You have so much that you want to give, and I have so much that I want to give back to you. But how am I going to do that if you throw your life away? If you lock yourself away from me for what? For the rest of your life, maybe. I have to do this, Blair. <sighs> you asked me to save him, remember? You were afraid for him. You sent me after him. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saving Tom. For you. Because you asked me to. So I'm asking you to tell me the truth. Is there still some part of you that is just so in love with Todd? True, isn't it? That's why you asked me to save Todd when he went after Irene. Part of you still in love with him, aren't you? Hi. What, what happened? It went well. It did? It, well, mostly. Oh, good. Dad and I both pled guilty. Guilty? Yes. Oh. But we both got suspended sentences and community service. Oh, my God. That's, yeah. that's great. Well, we're going to be picking up trash on the side of the road, so. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, that's pretty great. Well, I think you uh, got lucky there, Todd. You softened up the judge by taking the fall for Star. Told you I wouldn't let our little girl go down for that. Well, it's a damn good thing. Am I free to go? Just a matter of some paperwork. The moths are ready for us. We need to go now. Congratulations, Todd. Excuse me, I need to pack up my office. Just stop. All right, it, you're impossible. I can't even fire you and get away with it. Does that mean that you're uh, rescinding my dismissal? Correct. Forget that it ever happened, but I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. No, I understand completely. As much as I hate to admit it, you're actually right. The voters would hate me if I fired you. I can't afford to take that risk. Well, then, come on. But you, you have to admit, you'd miss me too much if you fired me. Don't press your luck, Buchanan. Nurse! No, I don't want nurse, the nurse! Nurse, I just want to know. I weeks. just want to get out of here. That smile of yours would have let you get away with just about anything, but that was then, and this is now. Meaning? Meaning, if you don't find who really killed Victor Lord Jr. by the time I'm re-elected, then you will be fired before I'm even sworn in. Kathleen, if there's anything you know about me, it's got to be, I do not like threats. Oh, well, that's not a threat, though, Bob. That's promise. Okay, Star, we need to go start your process for release. Okay, good. Oh, I can't wait to get home to my little girl. I'll great. see you later. Okay. Wish them all luck for me. I will, sweetheart. Wish there was something we could do to help them. Okay, you've done enough to get people out of jail. Why don't you go with Nora, okay? Come on. Finally. We're free. Yes, we are. That's it. <laughs> okay. okay, I need to talk to you. Why? What's the problem? I just need to understand why you're free and Tomas isn't. It is not too late for you to change your plea. Things look pretty intense between you and Blair out there. Forget about me and your family. You've walked away from us before. But are you really ready to walk away from Blair? So tell me the truth, Todd. Can you really, in good conscience, allow Tomas to be put away for a murder that you committed? 